Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope you all are keeping fine. In previous video, we have learned how a young gorilla and his twin sister got the name. Okay, so today we are going to learn more about a gorilla, his perfect life. So let me read a chapter for you. The perfect life. Gorilla babies, elephant babies and human babies are not so different except that a gorilla gets to spend the day riding on his mother's bike. So what is the difference? Only one difference we find here that gorilla babies get to spend the day riding on their mother's bike. That is the difference. Now slowly, carefully, a young gorilla begins to go farther and farther away from the safety of his mother's arms. He learns the skills he will need as an adult. How to make a nest of branches, weave them tightly or they will fall apart in the middle of the night. How to beat your chest. Cup your palms to amplify the sound. How to move from tree to tree. How to be kind, strong and loyal. I say young gorilla, you make mistakes. You play. You learn. You do it all over again. It was for a while a perfect life. So this was gorilla's perfect life. When Gorilla was a child, he used to ride on his mother's back. Now slowly he is growing. Therefore, he learns the skills. What skills he learns? Skill that is to weave the branches. Weave the branches tightly for, for their or for his night rest. So also to beat his chest with the help of palms to make sound to get frightened others. How to move from tree to tree. He also learned how to move, how to jump from one branch to the other. He also learned to be kind, strong and loyal. Loyal to his parents, faithful to his parents. So he is saying to each of you, as a young gorilla, you make mistakes. Yes, as a child, when you are small, you make mistake. You play. At the same time, you learn. You make mistake. By making mistake, you learn. You do it all over again. So same work, whatever you make mistake, you do it again and again. So that was Gorilla's work. He also used to make mistake and do it again and again. So that was his perfect life. But this perfect life did not last long. Finally, his happy, free life came to an end. So you can find the heading here, the end. The end. One day, a still day, when the hot air humid, the humans came. One fine day, during hot summer, poachers or humans, those who catch the wild animals for different purpose, came and caught him and his twin sister and put them in a cage. So that is wine. After they captured my sister and me, Gorilla is saying, after this human captured 
Gorilla and his sister, they put them in a cramped, cramped meaning small and crowded with not much room to move. The small room and that was dark. Wooden container, container. So they kept them inside that cage. Somehow I knew that in order to live, I had to let my old life die. Now once these both of them were put in the cage, now there was no chance to come out. They both of them had to live inside for many months. Therefore, Gorilla, he started thinking positively. He thought, he thought of forgetting his old life. But my sister could not let go of it. But his sister could not forget his parents. Always she used to remember her parents, their love. She kept on thinking about their home. When one day I noticed her looking at me without really seeing me, I knew she was completely lost. Gorilla is saying that one day his sister was looking at him though his eyes were opened but she was not really seeing him. She was imagining, thinking about her parents. She was completely lost. Next heading comes the temporary human. Now who was the temporary human? We will come to know. It was Mac who opened that crate. Mike who took me and Mike who raised me like a human baby. So a person by named Mike who had opened that crate or cage and took him to his home and took care of him like a human baby or human child. I drank from a bottle. I slept in human beds, sat in human chairs, listened while human birds swarmed around me like angry bees. Now Gorilla is saying when he went to whose house? Mac's house. Now he is in Mac's house. Now in that house, he was given a glass of water to drink. He was given a human bed to sleep. He was given a chair to sit. And sometimes when many people came around him, by listening their talk, he felt that they were like a angry bees. They were like a angry bees. Mike's wife, Helen, was quick to laugh, but quick to anger too, especially when I broke something, which was often. So, Gorilla is saying that Mike's wife, Helen, she was very jovial. She was quick to laugh. At the same time, she used to get angry, especially whenever he broke something and that was very often. I broke the blender when I squeezed 
three tubes of toothpaste and a bottle of glue into it. I broke my toes attempting to swing from a lamp fixture on the ceiling. So Gorilla is saying that he had broken the blender. Blender is a electric mixing machine. We call it mix mixy where something is grounded. So he had put what he had put. He had put the three tubes of toothpaste and bottle of glue into it and broken that blender. So also he had broken his toes while attempting to swing from a lamp fixture on the ceiling. I broke 46 glasses. He had broken 46 glasses in different ways. It turns out there are many ways to break a glass. Every weekend, Mike and Helen drove me to a restaurant where they ordered something for me. Not only that, he got chance to go to the restaurant where Mike and Helen had ordered for him a good food, delicious meal. So also I went to baseball games, to the grocery store, to a movie theater, even to the circus. They did not have a gorilla. I rode a little motorbike and blew out candles on a birthday cake. So Gorilla is saying that not only he went to a restaurant, he also got chance to play a baseball game, went to the grocery shop, went to watch movie in a theater. He also went to the circus. And good thing that in that circus, there wasn't a gorilla. So he got chance. Who got chance? Young gorilla. Now name is given to him in human house, in human home. What name is given? Ivan. Yes. He got chance to rode a little motorbike. So also to blow out candles on a birthday cake. My life as a human was an exciting one. Although my parents would not have approved. Now Ivan or a gorilla realizing that his life as a human, temporary human was an exciting one. He remembers his parents would not have approved that to give him all the facilities. But then, he was hungry for something. What was his hunger? Let us read and learn. So next heading comes, hunger. In my new life as a human, I was well taken care of. Yet, at night, lying alone in my pajamas, I longed for the cheerful grunts of a play fight and the easy safety of my nearby troop. Even though his new life, he was well taken care of by Mike and Helen, but still at night, while sleeping, he was all alone in the bed. So he remembered he missed his parents, cheerful grunts of a play fight, climbing on his mother, father's belly. He used to remember his group, troop of gorillas, their love, affection, playing with them. So all he remembers and he missed them. Remember what happened to Tig when he remembers, he recalls his twin sister, how she used to remember always thinking of her parents and finally one day he, she died. Now again this young gorilla had a self-talk 
started thinking positively about himself to forget his old life in the jungle still sometimes i lay awake wishing for the warmth of another just like me even though he had got human bed so good bed to sleep but sometimes at night he used to be awake he wished to get or be close to his parents or close to another gorilla sleeping next to him he missed that warmth of his parents it is said that later ivan was sent to a shopping mall where he becomes or he became a part of a stationary circus why he became stationary stationary is not moving he remained in that shop in that so in the mall we have seen so many people coming going watching at him he also got chance to see look at so many people looking at them he forgets his old life in the jungle he didn't have time to think about his parents slowly he started living a happy life so this is all about today's class children now i'll be giving you homework so here is a homework for you children learn the following word meaning one grunt what is the meaning of grunt a short or low sound second nimble able to move quickly and easily third sap meaning the liquid in a plant or tree that carries food to all its parts fourth silver back meaning an adult male gorilla with white or silver hair across its back fifth black back meaning a young male gorilla sixth scowl meaning an angry look seventh rain forest meaning a thick forest in areas of the world that get a lot of rain eighth amplify meaning make louder ninth create meaning a large ten swarmed meaning crowded eleventh cramped meaning small and crowded with not much room to move twelfth stationary meaning not moving so my dear children here we have completed chapter 1 ivan story we have learnt about him how once upon a time he was living in a natural forest but now he got chance to live in a human house and how all the facilities he is getting you can see here in this picture i have given you the word meaning read and learn it it will be helpful for you for your exam okay so thank you children god bless you